Curse of the Rugaru. In the heart of the Louisiana Bayou, where the Spanish moss drapes like ghostly veils and the night air is thick with secrets, lies the small, forgotten town of Delacroix. Here, the people live by the rhythms of the swamp and the ancient lore that whispers with the wind. Among these tales, none is more feared than that of the Rugaru, a creature born of darkness, part man, part wolf, cursed to roam the bayou, hungering for souls. Eva LeBlanc, a young woman born and raised on the outskirts of Delacroix, had always held a fascination for the stories of her home. The Rugaru was a tale she'd grown up with, one that danced on the edge of nightmares and reality. But Eva, with a spirit as wild as the bayou itself, was unafraid. She would wander the mossy banks and twisted paths, feeling the eyes of the unseen on her back. Yet she always returned home, untouched and daring as ever. One autumn evening, under a hunter's moon, Eva ventured deeper into the swamp than she had ever dared before. The air was alive with the sounds of nocturnal creatures, and the moon cast a silver glow that made the bayou seem otherworldly. It was then, amidst the chorus of frogs and the rustling of leaves, that Eva heard it. A low, guttural growl, unlike anything she had ever heard before. The sound chilled her to the bone, a primal fear awakening within her. Fearing she had finally wandered too far, Eva turned to leave, but the path behind her seemed to have disappeared, swallowed by the thickening fog. Panic set in as she realized she was lost. The growl sounded again, closer this time, and Eva spun around to see two glowing eyes piercing the darkness. The Rugaru emerged from the shadows, towering and formidable, its gaze fixed upon her. Eva's heart pounded in her chest as she stared into the eyes of the creature she had always believed to be just a legend. It stepped closer, the line between myth and reality blurring before her. But then, something unexpected happened. The Rugaru spoke, its voice a gravelly whisper that seemed to carry the sorrow of the bayou itself. It spoke of a curse that bound it to the swamp, of a hunger that could never be satisfied, and of the solace it found in the solitude of the bayou. Eva, though terrified, felt a strange kinship with the creature, a fellow wanderer of the night. The Rugaru, seeing the understanding in her eyes, made a silent offer a choice that would forever change Eva's path. She could return to her world, to the safety of the known, or she could step into the shadows, into the realm of legends and whispers, where the boundary between human and beast was as thin as the fog that cloaked the bayou. As dawn approached, the Rugaru faded back into the shadows from which it had come, leaving Eva alone with her decision. The first light of morning found the bayou peaceful, as if the night's encounter had been nothing but a dream, but Eva LeBlanc was nowhere to be found. The people of Delacroix whispered among themselves, some saying she had gotten lost in the swamp, others insisting she had left to start a new life. But there were those who believed she had chosen the path of the Rugaru, becoming a part of the bayou's ancient lore. And so, the tale of Eva and the Rugaru became another thread woven into the tapestry of legends that surrounded Delacroix. A story that ended not with an ending, but with a choice, leaving the bayou to guard its secrets and the shadows to whisper of possibilities untold. Months turned to years, and the legend of Eva LeBlanc and the Rougarou became a staple among the eerie tales told in Delacroix. The bayou remained a place of mystery, where the line between the natural and supernatural seemed perpetually blurred. Yet, the story did not end within the whispers of the swamp. Decades later, a young researcher named Marcus ventured to Delacroix, drawn by the rich folklore that seemed to pulse through the veins of the bayou. Fascinated by the tale of Eva and her encounter with the Rugaru, Marcus delved deep into the archives and oral histories, seeking any shred of truth that might lie beneath the layers of myth. His search led him to an ancient, dilapidated cabin hidden deep within the swamp, a place forgotten by time. Inside, among the dust-covered remnants of a life long gone, he found a journal. Its pages, though worn, told the story of Eva LeBlanc, but not the tale the people of Delacroix whispered. In her own words, Eva wrote of her encounter with the Rugaru, of the choice it offered, and of her decision to stay human, to live among the shadows without becoming one. 
But there was more. Eva wrote of a promise she made to the Rugaru to protect the secrets of the Bayou and to watch over the balance between the human world and the realm of legends. Marcus, his hands trembling as he turned the pages, realized the truth that had eluded Delacroix for so long. Eva had become the guardian of the Bayou, a bridge between worlds, her life intertwined with the Rugaru in a pact that transcended time. But the greatest surprise lay in the final pages of the journal. Eva hinted at a lineage, a bloodline that carried the legacy of her pact with the Rugaru. The journal ended with a cryptic note about a descendant who would inherit her role, someone with the heart of a human and the soul of the Bayou. As Marcus closed the journal, the pieces fell into place. His own fascination with the Bayou, the draw he felt towards Delacroix, and the stories that had captivated him since childhood, all of it made sense now. Marcus was the descendant Eva had written about, the keeper of the Bayou secrets, the next guardian. The realization hit him like a thunderbolt, a mix of awe and fear. He looked up from the journal, half expecting the shadows to part and reveal the Rugaru itself. But the Bayou was silent, watching, waiting for its new guardian to accept his destiny. Marcus stepped out of the cabin, the journal clutched in his hands, and gazed into the heart of the swamp. He knew now that his life would never be the same, that the tales of Delacroix were more than just stories. They were a legacy, a responsibility, and a promise to keep the balance. And somewhere, deep in the bayou, the Rugaru howled, a sound that was no longer just a harbinger of fear, but a call to guardianship, a welcome to the keeper of the bayou's secrets. The story of Eva LeBlanc had found its continuation, not an ending, but a new beginning, shrouded in the mists of the Louisiana swamp. Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow at 9 a.m. EST for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions.